quiero presentarles la empresa P2 Science, una empresa que desarrolla un conjunto de tecnologías de procesos químicos únicos para convertir materias primas renovables en productos químicos especializados de alto valor, incluidos saborizantes, fragancias, ingredientes cosméticos y monómeros renovables. Con nosotros se encuentra Neil Burns. Buenos días, Neil. Muchas gracias por estar hoy con nosotros. Morning, great to be here. El 2020 presentó desafíos para todas las empresas. ¿Cómo manejó P2 Science su constante innovación en esta pandemia? So, um, obviously, 2020 ended up a bit different to what we had planned. Well, we noticed two things, I guess. First of all, among our customers, you know, we, we target customers mainly in cosmetics and toiletries and also fragrances. And among our customers, we, we saw that basic products, basic cleaning products, obviously were way up, were very uh, strong uh, as soon as the pandemic hit because people wanted to do cleaning. Uh, and so um, we, we saw that anything to do with basic cleaning, either household, institutional or personal cleaning was very strong. However, anything around uh, luxury or Uh, even cosmetics themselves um, was was quite uh, weak. You know, demand was way off. Um, the travel market disappeared, and that that took away a lot of demand for cosmetics and things like sun care. Uh, also, were quite uh, weak, um, and 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 so you know that altered the nature of our business. Um, the other thing we noticed as soon as the pandemic hit in. Uh, Uh, hit us in mid-March in, in the U.S. Um, is we noticed that new projects, anything new, was delayed, was put on hold. Um, again, because people were wanting to focus on basic cleaning products, and so um, um, a, 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 any of our new projects were delayed by at least six months, and. Um, maybe more you know we'll see how that goes now it's been it's been six or seven months already uh we're starting to see some movement in the new product area but things are not anywhere near back on track compared to what they were let's say in uh january uh, of this year um and and so that's definitely affected us um the other effect which i think hit most people in any industry is that there was no travel, uh, no business travel this year um, after February, uh, really, and no trade events, no um, uh, exhibitions, nothing like that. Um, and so we, we adapted to that by putting more emphasis on digital marketing and uh, dig digital uh, presentations, and, and, and that has helped, I, I think, get our... Um, get our information out. We, we, um, we've been launching a new product each month since April, and we intend to keep that up until the end of next year, the end of 2021. And I, I, I don't think we would have done that if it was not for uh, the pandemic. So that's a sort of a, a positive uh, byproduct of what's been happening. ¿Cuáles son las tecnologías que hacen P2 Science una empresa diferente? ¿Y cuál es su proceso patentado y cuáles son sus diferentes beneficios? Okay, so um, the roots of our company are in green chemistry. Um, and that's, that's very important to, to note. Everything we do is centered around green chemistry. Uh, today we have two major technology platforms. One is ozonolysis, which is an oxidation process, basically converts a variety of feedstocks from vegetable sources into mainly aroma chemicals. Uh, the second one we call continuous etherification, and that is um, a, uh, a polymerization process, primarily converting terpenes into polymers. And these terpenes come primarily from the uh, forestry industry. And so but both of these uh, processes, we have patent protection. In fact, the, the first patents on both of those were issued 
in um, September of 2018. And we've had additional patents come through since then, covering different aspects of the process and different, uh, different products which are made by uh, the, the, those processes. Um, and so, you know, these are, um, these are fairly uh, flexible platforms. We've got today, mm, I mean, between products that we sell on the merchant markets and proprietary products that we sell just to individual customers, we have uh, around 20 to 30 products that we're making on a regular basis with these two technologies. Um, mostly, as I said, focused in cosmetics and personal care and fragrances. And uh, mostly these are um, products that are not really accessible via any other processes. So they are quite unique. Um, for example, the citropol range of terpene polymers which uh, we introduced to the broad market in april of this year these are unique polymers not not heretofore have been manufactured uh, by anyone and uh, they're derived from forestry from the from basically from pine trees and um, they've shown really good results as replacements for silicones as you know, people are looking for silicone replacements um, all across the board, not just for D4 or D5, but all sorts of other silicones people are interested to replace. And we've shown very good results in replacing these silicones with our uh, Cipropol products. What is the compromiso de la empresa con la belleza limpia? Really, our, our space, if you like. Um, Clean Beauty probably has uh, achieved a lot more prominence this year than, than in prior years. Um, but our, our approach to anything in the cosmetics and beauty area has been to use renewable feedstocks and um, green chemistry processes to, to make the products. Uh, and so that this really is our business model. Um, as I mentioned, we, we have uh, silicone alternatives. The fact that com companies today are looking for silicone replacements has stimulated our business, has given us a boost, but it's not really the sole reason that we're making products. You know, we, we're interested in uh, trying to get as much renewable, sustainable feedstock into the supply chain as possible. Um, and so... That could be for silicon replacements, but it could also be for use in areas where petroleum jelly is used or, or paraffins, paraffin waxes, various uh, petrochemical alkanes. These can all be replaced with renewable feedstocks, and uh, our products uh, w we think are good alternatives, good options for that. Cuéntenos sobre Citropol y su amplia variedad de usos. ¿Cómo encaja este ingrediente en un concepto de belleza limpia? The concept clean beauty. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's today we're seeing citropols used in um, makeup, uh, foundation, lipstick, uh, the, the color cosmetics, eyeshadow, eyeliner, things like that. Um, also more basic skin care, skin creams and lotions. These are uh, very effective. We have um, Citropol actually going into fragrances um, to, to act as fixatives to make the fragrance last much longer. So all these are, are really uh, good clean beauty applications where you're basically using products derived from pine trees uh, in, in all, those different, all those different areas. Um, and, and I think this is caught the imagination uh, of the industry. And so we've seen some, uh, some interesting product launches, mainly from small companies who are a little faster, a little more agile than the larger ones. But the large guys are also evaluating um, our products. So we expect to see next year some larger brands uh, using our products in, in, the, in these applications. So it really is across the board. Um, We've seen some good results 
with our citropols being used in shampoo and conditioner. So these are high volume, very high volume applications. Um, and perhaps, uh, as I said, maybe early next year, we'll see some commercial products using the citropols for shampoo and conditioner. ¿En qué desarrollos está trabajando y cuáles cree que serán las tendencias en la industria cosmética en un futuro próximo? Okay, so um, I, I think the cosmetic industry, let's say in 2021, has to come up with some very interesting products. They have to recapture the consumer's imagination because really cosmetics have struggled during the pandemic. As I said, basic products are up, but anything cosmetic or luxury has had a hard time. And I, I think that the, the brands have to come up with exciting concepts to get consumers interested again uh, and, and capture their imagination. So uh, I, I really think that's going to be the focus of the next 12 to 18 months. And, and that excitement could be new brands, just could be relaunch, rebranding. But I think more fundamentally, that excitement has to come from new formulations and, uh, if possible, new ingredients. Something that is uh, natural, sustainable, something that does speak to clean beauty, and something that consumers have not seen before. And if If then the, the, the brand can create a good story, a compelling story around these different ingredients, then I think the consumer's imagination can be, can be sparked. And they say, okay, here's something different. I didn't see it before the pandemic. I'm seeing it now. I should try it. And, and, and I think that's going to rekindle uh, some of the demand that has been lost in the past six, six months. months. Muchas gracias por toda la información y muchas gracias por estar hoy con nosotros. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure.